Sometimes politics interfere with barbecue. When I uh, did my first tour of the world's barbecue trail, I was unable to visit Iran. So I found myself uh, Iranian grill masters here in the United States. And one of them showed me this dish, Persian saffron marinated lamb chops. The traditional marinade features yogurt. Many Iranian meats will marinate for one to two days. When it comes to grilling lamb, Iranians are world masters. They've certainly had practice. Lamb has been part of the Persian barbecue tradition for at least 5,000 years. In this dish, the lamb is marinated in a vibrant mixture of yogurt, saffron, and onions. The combination of flavors will come as a revelation. One of those flavors is saffron. Saffron is the world's costliest spice. It comes from an aromatic crocus. And to activate the flavor, you simply soak it in a little warm water. You'll see it will release an orange color. To finish the marinade, start with plain whole milk yogurt. Add finely chopped onion, about four cloves, finely chopped garlic, orange zest, that's the oil-rich outer rind of the orange, freshly squeezed lemon juice, salt, cracked or ground black peppercorns, and the soaked saffron. Now, for the lamb chops, two choices. I'm using loin lamb chops. You can also use rib chops. I like the loin chops because they're a little meatier. Finally, pour the remaining marinade over the tops of the chops. The only tricky part about this dish is remembering to marinate the lamb 24 to 48 hours ahead of time. In the refrigerator, of course. Before you start grilling the lamb, two final preparations. The first is a simple basting sauce. It consists of melted butter and more of your soaked saffron and a little freshly squeezed lemon juice. And with the lamb, I thought we'd prepare some grilled tomatoes and onions. So these are plum tomato halves. Simply skewer them on these flat skewers, which keep the tomatoes from rotating or falling off. And brush the tomatoes with a little extra virgin olive oil. And season with dried herbs. This is a mixture of rosemary, oregano, and dried mint. And while you're at it, you can brush and season these baby onions. Now let's take a look at the grill. So I set up the grill for direct grilling and preheated it to high. And you remember we have a little rule whenever direct grilling, we keep it hot one Mississippi, two Mississippi. We keep it clean with a few strokes of our grill brush. And we keep it lubricated, either with a folded paper towel dipped in oil or else a half onion dipped in oil and drawn across the bars of the grill grate. Grill the vegetables first. And the reason I do this is, uh, the onions take a little longer to cook than the lamb. And also, vegetables, grilled vegetables taste great at room temperature, whereas the lamb should be served sizzling hot off the grill. Then put on the lamb chops. The lamb chops grill for four to six minutes per side. And in the Near East, people like their lamb medium to well done, not uh, rare the way we do here in the West. After a couple minutes, give each chop a quarter turn to lay on a crosshatch of grill marks. Meanwhile, when the tomatoes are brown on the bottom, turn them over. And you see by using these flat skewers, they don't slip. You should also turn over the onion. You're looking for it to be lightly charred, too. So once the chops are browned on the bottom, turn them over.
And at this point, you can start basting with that butter saffron basting sauce. Mm. The chops will cook for another four to six minutes per side. To test for doneness, we use the old poke test. Poke the meat, it feels firm to the touch. That shows us we're right at medium. So, don't forget the ends of these skewers could be very hot. Here are grilled onions and grilled tomatoes. The lamb's ready too. Saffron and garlic grilled lamb chops. It's a 5,000 year old barbecue tradition. Mm-hmm.